good morning to everyone today i am going to explain about biomass gasifier unit what is biomass gasifier a biomass gasifier is a reactor that uses a controlled process to convert a solid biomass into a gaseous fuel this process involves using heat steam and oxygen to thermally crack the biomass into a combustible gas the main constituent of the gas are carbon monoxide hydrogen and carbon dioxide along with the smaller amounts of methane and other trace gases so the biomass gasifier can be used to produce a variety of products including synergy gas biofuels biochar power heat and fertilizer are the by products so as we know that the biomass gasifier produces synergy gas biochar biofuels etc so we are going to see one by one synergy gases a gaseous product that mainly made of carbon monoxide and hydrogen so it can be used in furnaces gas engines and solid oxide fuel cells biochar this is also one of the by product of the biomass gasifier unit a solid product that can be used to improve soil and sequester carbon biochar can be used in residential commercial industrial and community application biofuel liquid fuels derived from biomass such as ethanol and biodiesel ethanol is used as a blending agent with the gasoline to increase octane and reduce emissions the biomass gasification can be a low carbon emission technology especially if carbon capture utilization and storage is used the process can also be used to sustainably manage waste such as agricultural leftovers domestic solid waste and industrial waste so there are many different types of biomass gasifiers including updraft downdraft fluidized bed circulating fluid bed and entrained flow the types of gasifier the feedstock properties and the operation conditions all affect the composition of the production gas so now we are going to see the different types of biomass gasifier so the first type is updraft gasifier so before we are going to discuss about the gasifier first we should know about what are all the basic process are involved in the gasification process now i'm going to explain the concept with this help of the diagram the five process of gasification the drying pyrolysis combustion cracking and reduction so these are all the five basic process involving in the gasification process so normally the drying process occurs the temperature range is 100 to 150 degrees celsius so in the drying zone normally we are removing the water content with the help of heat through the biomass the second process is pyrolysis it happened around the temperature 200 to 500 degrees celsius so the pyrolysis process is nothing but the heating the biomass without the air to make charcoal the third process is combustion the combustion process is nothing but to adding the air to burn and crack the tar gases it will shown in the picture clearly from biomass it is converted into dry biomass and the from dry biomass it is converted into charcoal and as well as tar gases from the charcoal once again it is converted into 
hot reactive charcoal during the cracking process the temperature range of the cracking process is around 800 to 1200 degrees celsius the final process involving in the gasification is reduction so converting charcoal into the flammable gas so finally the output is become the producer gas h2 and co with n2 from the combustion of air so this is the five basic process of gasification is clearly explained that the with the help of this diagram so as we know that there are four to five process is involving in the gasification process so this process is common for all the types of gasifier the only thing based on the air circulation it can be divided into the various types so updraft gasifier is nothing but the air is passing from the bottom side of the gasifier to the top side of the gasifier so that it is called updraft gasifier so the air circulation is takes place in the bottom side of the gasifier so already we clearly explained that uh, what are all the basic process involving in the gasification so through the upward side the biomass are feeded into the bio uh, gasifier unit so from the bottom side the air is circulated so initially uh, the drying process is takes place in the gasifier so here the with the help of heat completely the water particles are removing from the biomass and then pyrolysis process after that combustion process and then the reduction process so finally the biogas or gas biogases are formed and it is taken from the upward side and the remaining thing that means after it become converted as a charcoal and charcoal is taken from the bottom side of the gasifier next down gasifier as i already mentioned that based on the air circulation the gasifiers are classified here the air is circulated from the top side to the bottom side so that it is called down gasifier the remaining process are similar to the all other types of gasifier as usual from the top side the biomasses are feeded into the gasifier unit similarly here also we have taken the bio gas and as well as the by products the next type of gasifier is cross draft gasifier here the air circulation is coming through from the side walls of the gasifier unit so that is called cross draft gasifier the remaining things are same for the all types of gasifier fluidized bed gasifier here with the help of air or oxygen or steam is passing from the bottom side of the gasifier unit so the air or oxygen or steam is carries the fluidized it carries the biomass particles through the high velocity so that it carries the entire bio particles through the upward side so the biofuel is mixing along with the air and it forms like a fluidized bed as usual here also the five basic process which are all involving in the gasifier unit is happened in the combustion chamber finally we can take the biogas in the upward side the only difference between the other types of gasifier and fluidized bed gasifier is here the air is carries the biomass and it forms like a bed so that it is called fluidized bed gasifier